Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Kevin Cowboy here with another video of Iron Throne. Today I want to be talking to you all about the latest patch update for 417, which goes into effect today. So this is brand new events that we can go ahead and see. So let's go ahead and open up our event center in the Citadel, and I'll go ahead and show you what all is new. So as you can see here, we have a new Gold Rush event, special gold event, and a Alliance Castle Guardian. So let's go and start off with, you know, things that are, you know, new, but, you know, always the same. So we have the new Gold Rush event. So this is if you are going to be spending. Now, if you're going to be spending, you can get a whole bunch of great rewards, and it pretty much doubles the amount of money that you're going to be putting into the game. I love the Gold Rush event because if you pair up your spending habits with a Gold Rush event, and then on top of that, get different items that you would want to utilize, you can really get a nice, beautiful... Um, upgrades to everything that you're spending and save yourself a lot of money doing so. So you can get some majestic material chests to help upgrade your guard captain gear as well as some speed up, some silver, you know, all this stuff is relatively the same. And in tier 6 with 18,000 gold we're going to be getting 100,000 gold from that. Now once we get to tier 7 which is going to be our 30,000 gold which is about $140, we're going to get T7 Calvary. This is going to be 50,000 T7s. Now, what this means is that we finally have our first Gold Rush that I've seen in-game. So, this is my fifth Gold Rush event, and this is the first time I've seen Agility Chests being offered. Agility is your later later game gear that is going to be giving you a leverage against all the archers. Now, everyone that I've seen in my kingdom, at least, and with the new kingdoms, will be having this um, archer gear to begin with. So, if you are able to spend and get these T7 Cav, the 100,000 T7 Cav, and the Agility Gear, and you pair it up with our new gold pack, uh, our new package, which will open up the shop and I'll show you the new package. So, well, first off, we have this new Daybreaker, which is going to be giving us a whole bunch of Revival Herbs, about 10 million, plus a whole bunch of Lord AP, some War Coins, some Silver, Gold, and VIP points. I know that's a, this is a great deal. Just looking at it, you get a whole bunch of Lord experience. You get, oh, you get a rare Alliance Lucky Box too. Wow, this package. Okay, this package is amazing. So you're getting two million silver times 110. I I just saw this. This is the first time I'm logging in for the morning, and I wanted to just you know create a nice little video for you all. You're getting 220 million silver for twenty dollars, plus a thousand war coins, plus a thousand AP, plus 10 million revival herbs plus a whole bunch of VIP points and 100,000 gold. Speed ups, Lord experience. This is a fantastic package. I will probably, I will most definitely be maxing this package out to get that. But what I really want to show you is this agility material chest. They have $10 packs for 200 material chests and $20 packs with 400 material chests. With these packages, that's $90 to buy all of them. And you're going to get 1,800 material chests. Now, if you max out your Gold Rush event, okay? So if you max out your Gold Rush event to this level, I believe it's Tier 7, or Tier 9. Yes, Tier 9 with 70,000 gold. You will get 2,100 agility material chests. This is easily going to take you to plus 2, plus 3 on your agility across the board, depending on how you roll. I can't guarantee anything for anyone. But you're also going to get 100,000 T7 Cavalry. I can't train T7 Cavalry. You have to be a Citadel 35 to train T7 Cavalry. So that's awesome. Plus they have a special gold event. Special gold event. You know, this is going to be giving you some nice little rewards resource-wise. As well as Dark Lord material chests if you spend gold. Pretty easy to do. But something that's new. This is what's new. Is the Invasion Rift. If you complete the Invasion Rift and the more monsters you attack and the more lucky eggs that you open... And you get Lucky Eggs for completing the Invasion Rift and winning or losing. And if you join the Solo and Inferno events, you get more Lucky Eggs. So the more the more you do, the more Invasion Rifts, the more Alliance events you do, the more rewards you're going to get. And these rewards are pretty sweet because you're going to be getting some stat bu uh, buffs that are really going to help you this weekend come KVK, come Blood Moon. So all these different things are going to be assisting you with Blood Moon, especially that new special package, the Deal Breaker, what that was called forget already but those buffs and those rewards that that package will give you especially that alliance lucky gift box because 
five of those packs might, could give you 50,000 gold. It could give you, like, 30 days of speed-ups. You know, these are amazing rewards. Now, that's not all that this new patch update's giving us. So it's also giving us the Day of Revenge event. So we can't get information on this just yet. Let's go ahead and see if this gives us anything, any information. No, it does not. But there is a new event that will start on the 20th. So it starts on the 20th and goes until the 21st. So not today, not tomorrow. It'll start Saturday and will go to Sunday, so Easter weekend. Okay? If you complete the challenges in the event center, so it'll, it'll have a page just like this. It'll help you be able to defend by giving you a whole bunch of amazing stat buffs, as well as resources, as well as speed ups for construction, and a whole bunch of gold. And it is all based on how many troops you kill. So, during kill event, there's going to be an additional kill event reward. So the more troops you kill, up to 40 million, you will gain a whole bunch of amazing rewards. But the best part is, all the best rewards, in my opinion, which are rally troop attacks, stats, buff, um, huge troop attack and troop defense stat buffs, as well as enemy defense decreases and enemy attack decreases buffs, all those buffs you obtain at 4,000 kills, 40,000 kills, and 200,000 kills. Above 200,000 kills, you're, you know, you really drop off. Now, this is based on power. So, you're dropping an enemy 200,000 power. Now, let me just go ahead and show you what that all looks like. As you can see, I've been picking up BBH a little bit here recently. I dropped him 20 million power. I can max this event out at 40 million power. So if I wanted to max the event out, I would just have to kill him twice. And he was killed five times last night just because he keeps on trying to do stupid things. You know, play stupid games, you get stupid rewards. And that's what he's getting. So this event is awesome. You could easily max it out if you want to. You could easily just do it. And, you know, either way, however you want to break it down, you can do it. And also, peep that 11 billion. I was the first one to hit 10 billion in the kingdom, and we're going to keep that growth going. And we got Ariel right behind me. She's doing fantastic. But tonight is my turn, my shot at the throne. So I really look forward to that. I don't look forward to starting the throne event at 4 in the morning. All right? I, w I, like, getting some, uh, I like getting some sleep from time to time, but I guess not tonight. And then there's a couple other fixes that they did. They did a couple of changes to some resource packages. Um, I believe they're down at the limited time. Also, Conqueror Material Package, he get for $20, 800 chests. You can do that for all of the level 30 gear. That is absurd. Although, they do have the gift boxes. The gift boxes are still amazing. So, yeah, they've got that going on. They did update these packages. I believe they're giving more resources now per package. I'm not too sure. I'll have to do the math. But I don't quite remember what they had beforehand. But that's awesome. You know, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm really looking forward to this Daybreaker. As well as those Agility Material Chests. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. This is Cam Cowboy. We will be having a stream tonight. So check back out on that. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. Or want to get into the play test. Uh, go ahead and shoot me a DM online, Discord, Twitter, Gmail, email. You know, however you want to reach out to me in game too if you're in Kingdom 50. But if you want to get in the play test, it only works on first time downloads. So be sure that you do that before you download the game because there is a special link you have to go through. But more information on that in the DMs. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have swag here to do the elevator music, so I'm not really going to try because that's his thing, but go ahead and watch the video on the uh, merchandise, and let me know if you would be interested in purchasing merchandise. I already have a couple great ideas, and we'll share more information about that in the live stream tonight around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all for watching. This is Kevin Cowboy.